Thanks, Simon. Uh, another national event. You came through with a gold medal. Talk about how you wrestled today. You know, overall, I think it was pretty good. Um, I'm kind of just getting right back on the mat. I, I, uh, I joined the high school swim team this fall, so um, I decided to focus some time on that, get some recovery, and make sure I wasn't struggling with burnout after my intense summer leading up to Fargo. Did that help? I mean, you certainly kind of loosened your muscles up, right? Swimming? <laughs> swimming. Yeah. I loved it. You know, our coach, um, he really understood that I was there for the workout, not the swimming, because frankly, I'm a terrible swimmer. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it was still fun. The girls were super supportive. Coach was like, yeah, if you need to go wrestle, who's number one? Or wrestle a uh, conflict for charity, you know? Go ahead and do those things, you know? You're still going to be able to come back, be a part of this team, and get your workouts in. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, number one ranked wrestler moved up a few weights in the finals there, Valerie. I mean, that, she uh, obviously wasn't your size, but she came after you. I mean, was that a, a, a good match for you to test yourself? Yeah, you know, I always love the hard matches. They're what make you better. Um, you know, even if I would have lost that, I I wouldn't have actually lost because I would have learned something. So, there's always positives. Got to look on the positive side. Did she give you a different feel, different look coming up a weight that you don't um, I usually... 145, 155 pounders. Um, well, my sister's one of them. She's a 45 pounder. Um, but I wrestle with them a lot, so I, you know, I'm I get the feel of the the quicker, smaller weights, even though they're Lauren and Anna are both super strong and athletic. Do you go from Decorah down to Iowa City to train? Yeah, so we go um, every Sunday. Coach Fullhart and Coach Marinelli uh, worked out a really great deal. Um, every Sunday at 2:30, we leave from Decorah and then. We're down in Iowa City by 5.30 for uh, club practice. So, um, Iowa, let's talk about it. Wrestling for girls in Iowa, really exploding. And talk about the talent in the state. I mean, obviously, you're one of the more successful girls, but, I mean, Iowa wrestling's really going up. You feel that way? Absolutely. You know, I've had a bunch of girls say, oh, where are you going this year? And I'm like, well, 170. And they're like, oh, I might move up or down to get to an easier weight class. Well, there's really no easier weight classes because, you know, we've got Katie at 100, Layla at 105, you know, all the way up to uh, Emma Peach, Skylar Slade, me, Bella Porcelli, um, Heavyweight will be uh, Olivia Huckfell. You know, there's no easy weight classes, and there's only one class this year. Um, so, you know, you win state, and you're the, you're the state champion. So uh, what's next for you? Regular season or well, get back into the wrestling room when, for the regular season? Yep, we start tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow after school, yep. First <laughs> first practice at school. That's great. I'm excited. We're going to have a great year. Awesome. Thanks, Andy. Congratulations. Thank you.